Hello, welcome to Unleash Your Creativity Season 4. Unleash Your Creativity is a filmmaking capacity building project designed for the African youth. I will be taking you to the aerobic section with the participants, how they will shake their body and do the exercise, the morning exercise, as the culture of the camp. After then, I'm going to take you to class with Professor Buckley on the topic, the act of storytelling. I'll be right back. My name is a new gospel fame. presentation, we want to mention the fact that Nollywood has grown gradually and it, uh, in, it is becoming an oak tree. If you know what an oak is, it's very big, it's large with branches and beds, you know, it provides shade and everything. In other words, Nollywood is providing livelihood for many people in the industry, you know, in the country. And UNESCO a few years ago had judged Nollywood as the second largest in the world next to Bollywood. Nollywood is a gold mine waiting to be exploited. We are still scratching this, the surface. And that is because government has not realized that this is a gold mine. Our Igbo brothers realized that it is a gold mine. And that is why when in 1992, Ken Nebwe you know, uh, produced the first 
commercially you know, successful video frame, living in bondage, everybody left every other business to go into production of uh, movies. Are you following me? So if government realizes that, then the industry will go more than this. But then our consideration here, so script writing, this is the starting point. The script is the starting point as far as the, 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 the production process is concerned. Script writing is the, the starting point. Are you following? Okay. Once you have a good script, then you will have a good production. But then it has not been given serious attention in Nigeria. So this paper raises pertinent questions and points the way forward for quality film productions in the industry. After all, there's a saying that this soup sweet now money killer. Are you following? Okay, film is a work of art. The film medium is captivating. It is a representation of life. Once a work of art has been completed, it has a life of its own. Film is an economic product. It makes money. It gives you money. It is meant to be exploited. That is to promote, sell, buy, exhibit, or preview. The exploitation result results in certain psychological effects. Thus, every walk of life has some political relevance. Theme is a political instrument. You can use it to, 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 to communicate whatever message you want to communicate. So it is very, very important. And anybody going to watch a theme has a purpose. There is something he wants to satisfy. There's a need he wants to satisfy. And you will be happy when that expectation is met. If you go to watch a film and you are not happy with what you, you saw, you know, you, you will feel the next film you may not be interested. Is that clear? So every uh, film audience goes with an expectation. The starting point. A discourse on the art of storytelling should begin from the source, that is the film scripts. And I always tell my students of script writing or playwriting that the starting point for every production is the script. The departure point is the script. If a script is good, then you are, you are likely to have a good production. If the script is bad, there is nothing you can do that can, you can come out with a good production. So that is why it is a starting point. So this departure point is the script. It provides the road map. So the success, I always say, the success or failure of a production to a large extent depends on the choice of scripts. As a director, if you choose a poor, a bad script, then your failure has started. But if you choose a good script, those of you who read theater arts, you understand what I am saying. If you choose a good script, then ye yesterday I was watching a film where a mother-in-law, because the daughter-in-law did not have any child, we even went to the extent of native doctor to do something against her daughter-in-law. Eventually the girl had a baby, the baby died, and her son went mad. And at the end of the film, when I was seeing end credits, nothing happened to the woman. But the only the redeeming fact was that the son gained his sanity because of prayers of Christians. But then, are we now saying that evil should go unpunished? It's not the case. But that, that is what... So the question is, what's your story? What is your story? The script kickstarts the process wherein dead words on paper are actualized on stage. They are brought to concrete stage reality. So scripting depends on the interpretive abilities of artists or the script writer, as, as you will say. Dead words come to life and so on. And of course, production is a collaborative process. 
film production is a collaborative process. If the cinematographers, the designers, even the location managers, have you imagined mm -hmm. if a location manager worked on this and we say, let's go to the, and we come to this place and nothing is ready. You know that this cannot take place. Are you following me? So it's a collaborative art. Film is a collaborative art, and we need to know that. <clears throat> now, in examining the art of storytelling, one will ask, from whose point of view, the POV there means point of view, from whose point of view are you looking at the script? Is it from the point of view of the script writer or the director? The script writer authors the screenplay. He captures the whole essence of, sto of the story being narrated in written words. On the, other on the other hand, the director is the author of the film. In other words, after writing the script, your own is over. It is now left for the director to now actualize it. So by the time the script is actualized, we expect that, you know, it, 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 it will really bring out what the director, you know, wants the audience to see. Now, talking about the art of storytelling, I just mentioned that the, the director is the author of the film, and that is what we call the author theory. It's a French word. This is the same thing as author. Are you following? Yes, sir. The author theory. The final court bears the director's imprint. If you see a film, you can readily tell, ah, this film must have been directed by this person because the person has a way of telling his own story. His authorial supremacy in the filmic process is encapsulated in the concept that a film script is a story told in pictures. A film script is a story told in what? Pictures. So if you, if you are writing the script, you are telling a story in pictures. Take, for example, you say um, uh, scene one, exterior, you know, day. You are now telling the director what to expect. Then you say, uh, camera opens on an established shot of a building, zooms in. That is Victoria. You are telling the story in pictures. So that's why we say a film script is a story told in pictures. Okay? And the picture is worth a thousand words. This picture here, I'm sure you are seeing the face. Everybody can interpret this picture differently. Are you following me? Wow, it was a wonderful class with Professor Day. I hope you were taking notes. I also did here, right here. And, but then let's get to find out what the participants also learned from this wonderful class. After that, I'm going to take you to stage where the actors are going to be showing the practical section of acting in monologues. You go know who shall be asked. I'll be right back. Today, after Professor Barclay's class, it was quite an interesting class, and I learned quite a lot. I learned a little bit about storytelling, the tips and tricks about storytelling and script writing, and how to be a good storyteller with any tool you have or anything, as long as you're in the industry or you're into the creative arts. What I learned from him, he said that if you as a person, if you want to write a script, you must develop the interest on how to write a good script and at the same time, in storytelling, that you must not forget to, anything you have in mind to drop as a lesson, you put it into writing so that you will not forget it. I really learned a lot. He taught us about a um, story like writing and script writing. It was amazing and I really love the lesson. Uh, today's lecture is so, so 
fantastic because uh, my lecturer, Professor Barclay, hey! taught me well today. He taught me uh, on a topic, understanding the art of storytelling. As a, as a storyteller, you should know how trained you are and the information in your story and how to organize your story to make a wonderful story. Oh man, that, that lecture was, wow. You know, as a thespian, I really enjoyed the lectures. It was about storytelling, when you want to become a good storyteller, what and what you're supposed to do and not to do. First, if I want to write a story now, what is the story all about? Who am I writing the story for? What is the aim of the story? Mike, please now. Okay, listen to me. Let me. I just want to explain what happened that day. Please. It's okay. P please now. Please just just give me a listening ear. Mike, please. You you, you know I love you. you. Please, I can't do without you. I I I love you so much, Mike. Please. Mike, Mike, please, please. Mike, please don't do this to me, please. You're, you're hurting my emotions. Mike, please now. Oh my God. I love you, Mike, please. Yeah, is this one calling me? Hello? Hey, Anita, what's up? Eh? Eh? Jesus, not again. Jesus Christ, not again, not again, not again. Why now? Why? Why is my father doing this to me? Why? Oh God, 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 not again, not again. When is the time now? This is after 11. My husband is not yet back. Hope all is well. God, hope all is well to my husband. I don't want anything to stop with my husband. God, please help me out. Please, please help me out. Please, God. Husband, please. Uncle, you don't have money, but the doctor needs money to conduct treatment on my mother. Please, Uncle, please. <laughs> Uncle, please help me, help me, Uncle, please. I don't want my mother to die. Please, Uncle. <laughs> Ago. Alpha. Uh, are they giving you trouble in that world? My brother, if anybody puts their head there, you clear uh, Make sure that ballot box doesn't come out there without my name fully involved in everything there. What? Clear up. My, where my lighter? Guy, where my lighter do you know? What's up? Yeah, wait till they open. Wait till they open. Wait till they now. Where my... Uh. Lighter, mommy, mommy, how much, how much be the rosy, how much be the stuff? And I see no day, we see no worry. If I tell me you prepare this thing, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Men in this country, ha, so ruthless and heartless. You can imagine my husband after me, 
I'm a graduate. I have no job in this country. All I do is to smoke fish in the market. My eyes are bleeding water every Monday and night. And all my husband can do is to come back home and steal from me and go and get drunk. When he comes back, he mounts on me like a he goat in the night. 500 bar. I never get a change. Driver, bear, give me 50 naira. Okay, okay, uh -huh. Okay, all this one first. I, I don't give you your own now. Ah, I, 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 Baba, I greet you. Ah. These children are growing wings. They want to be involved in everything. What do they know about politics? They want to rule the country. It's alright. I don't blame them. On the BK. man. He has told them that they can do whatever they want to do. Hey yo, little dog. So you go and tell me who should me rascal clean upon the bloody street. Me need every single detail you go and give me upon that. If you ain't not going to do that, me go and blow your fucking brains up. Me don't care about who passed the street last night. Good evening, everybody. I am director at Sweetness. And if you are going to be working with me, you should know one thing. I don't take shit. Do you understand? Yes, sir. No, you, you guys don't understand. I'm paying you. So you must work with me and answer me. Do you understand? Help, help me talk to daddy. Please help me talk to him. I can't, I can't quit acting. I mean, he would listen. Oh, don't tell me, don't, don't tell me he will not listen. <laughs> mommy, look, mommy, you know I love acting. I know I'm not that good, but then I'm in love acting. Mommy, mommy, I'm not, I'm not shouting at I'm not shouting. That was a wonderful and exciting segment there with the participant on the monologue competition. <laughs> I know you very well, you had a wonderful time there. This is where I would love to draw the curtain for today, but remember to always stay with us and tune to Unleash Your Creativity. My name is Anu Gospel Fame. Definitely, we'll be back with another wonderful segment again. Bye for now and stay out of trouble. Yeah.